Hey guys, welcome to another Geeching Gadgets live streaming tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream from your browser to Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Mixer, and a ton of other platforms using Restream Studio. So recently, Restream, which is a very popular company that a lot of streamers use to stream to multiple platforms at the same time, as you can see here. So one stream goes to Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. They recently released what they call Studio. So Restream Studio allows you to live stream directly from your browser, which means you can have a computer that doesn't have the best specs in the world, and you can also do it from a Chromebook. So very cool there. Now, before we get started, I do want to thank Restream for sponsoring Gaging Gadgets and giving me access to the professional plan so that I could check it out and do tutorials on my channel. And real quick, I want to get into their pricing plans. They do have a free version. In this tutorial, I'll be using the professional version. And if you have the free version, you will have to have Restream branding on your stream. So you will have a watermark over your stream. And there's a couple other differences here. I recommend checking this out. If you're going to be doing this, the only way to get your own custom overlays and graphics, things like that, is going to be with the professional plan. And if you do decide to upgrade to a paid plan, check the description because my referral link down there will give you $10 off your first month. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is simply go to restream.io. And check the description because I'll have links down there as well as a detailed write-up in case you get lost. Once you get here, simply go to Get Started. And all you need is a username, email, and password. Once you get your account created, the first thing we need to do is add what they call channels. These are going to be the different websites that you can live stream to. So as you can see, just some of their suggestions. They have Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, LinkedIn. If we select Add Channel, we can see even more. And this is where they have Periscope, Mixer, Daily Motion, and tons of other ones down here that you can look at and add. Just an example, I'm going to add a couple of them. So we'll start out with Twitch. If I select Twitch, then I select Connect Twitch. It's going to take me to Twitch.com where I need to log into my account and then give Restream access to my account. So read through these different permissions and then authorize it. These are all basically needed for them to live stream and create videos on your account. So I'm going to authorize. And then once you get it added, you'll see it in your list under destinations here. So I have Twitch and it's currently enabled. Now I'm going to add one more channel which is going to be Facebook. So I'll be doing Facebook Live, connect Facebook. Then it will take me to Facebook where I need to log in. You'll have to go through a similar authorization process with all of the different channels you add. And with Facebook, you have to select either your personal profile or a public page that you have. So I have Gage and Gadgets. I'm just going to do that and then select Save. So now I have two live streaming platforms added to my Restream account. And I can stream to both of these at the same time. Now to start live streaming from the browser, what we need to do is go over to the left sidebar and then select the little camera icon that says Live Studio. Once you access Live Studio, depending on the browser you're using, you're going to have to grant access to restream to your camera and your microphone. So just go ahead and do that. You can select the camera that you want them to have access to and then the microphone. And then select Allow. And then once you allow it, It'll pop up with your webcam, depending on the webcam you actually selected. So let's go over the layout here so you have an understanding of how to use Restream Live Studio. So first, right here, this is going to be an example of what your live stream will look like when it goes out to the different channels you've added to your account. At the bottom here, we have some controls. We have a mute or enable button for your microphone, so I can mute it. I can also unmute it. Then we have the camera. You can disable it, enable it. And then right here, we have the ability to share our screen. So this means you can share anything on your computer screen, your Chromebook screen, including a game, maybe you're browsing YouTube, something like that. You'll be able to stream it across to your different platforms by just selecting this. And then depending on the browser, going through, selecting which application, including just your entire screen, and then giving Restream access to it. It will have a mirroring effect if it's recording itself. If I just change the tab or move it a little bit, you can see that it'll record the screen without any issue. The one thing that is unfortunate is it does not seem that you can enable the camera and share your screen at the same time. So that is a limitation currently. And then you have the ability to invite guests to your stream. It is in beta mode, so you have to actually request the access right now. Now, the last item we have in the toolbar down here is going to be settings. And this is where you can configure what you're going to be using for your microphone and your camera. So if you wanted to select different items here, you could change the microphone. You could change the webcam very quickly as well. All right, so now let's go over to the right side right here. This is your chat. And this will show any chat messages that come up. So real quick, what I've done is I've gone to my Twitch channel and just sent a quick test chat message. This section right here will capture all of the chat going on in the different destinations and live streaming platforms that you've added to your account. So 
As you can see, this one is on Twitch. It shows the little Twitch icon so I can easily identify which platforms that that's coming from. It also shows me the username and then their message, including their profile picture, which I think is a really nice touch. One really cool feature of Restream has is I can quickly show this to everybody watching my live stream by just selecting show. So if I'm live streaming to multiple platforms at the same time, and someone from Twitch says something that I want to highlight across to all of my viewers across multiple platforms, I can do that very easily. So really cool there. And I like how it shows their profile image on the live stream as well. Then I can just hide it again by selecting hide message from stream and it's gone. And I can do that with any message I want to as many times as I want to. Next, we also have the ability to add captions to our stream while we're live streaming. And they do have some pre-configured ones in here. We could easily show those by showing those like that. And then you can customize and create your own real quick. So I'll just type one up and then I can add the caption and then I can show it to all my viewers to remind them to subscribe on YouTube. And then you can delete it by just hitting the X over here. After that, we have different graphics that if you have a paid version of Restream, you can change. So in the free version, you will see a little powered by Restream right here. Because I have a paid version, I can hide it. I can also upload my own logos to the stream to add some branding things like that. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All you need to do is find the file on your computer, select it to upload, and then you would just go to show, and then it will show it up in the top right corner. Now you can't move it at all, but at least you can have some branding on your stream across all the platforms. And then you also have the ability to upload custom overlays and then backgrounds for your streams as well. Additionally, in the graphics section, you also have the ability to customize the primary color, which is going to be the color used for captions and chat if you show that right there so like right here it shows the blue around restream io if i were to change that color to a red i could change it any color i want to and this can be all changed during the stream as well very cool all right the last tab we have over here in the right section is going to be setup and this is where you configure the title and description of your stream. And this is just kind of a quick place to update it across all the platforms. If you wanna set this up on an individual basis before you go live, simply go over to more options right here. And then down here, you can see the destination. So I can edit Twitch real quick, edit the title, and then the category, which is very important on Twitch. And then in Facebook, I can go to edit and I can edit the title and add a game and then also a description. Additionally here, you can go to social alerts, connect your Restream account to different social media, and then you can have it send out a social media message when you go live. So I'm just gonna quickly configure the title and the description. Then once I have configured that, I'll just go to update all. And then as you can see, that quickly updated the title for all those destinations I have configured. All right, so now I'm basically ready to go. I have my stream set up with a custom logo, and under setup, I have the destinations I want to live stream to turned on. So if I didn't want to stream to one of these, I would just turn it off, but I want to live stream to all of these. And now all I need to do to go live is just simply select go live. So as you can see, it's connecting. And now we are live. It says live up here. And then down here in the destinations, it says sending data and online. If I select one of these destinations, it'll open up the channel on the respective platform. So right here you have Twitch gauging gadgets. It shows me live. And you could do the same thing with Facebook here. Now, once I want to stop live streaming, all I need to do is go up to finish. Confirm, I want to end my stream, and then it will start finishing and disconnecting, and now all the destinations show offline. All right, so that's how you live stream to multiple platforms at the same time from your browser. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more live streaming tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.